I am near Pavia and the Iloilo border. And right here, I don't know if you can see because it's a little dark, but I'll show you other signs, is the Gearbox Karaoke and Resto Bar. But it's a British pub and it's owned by a British couple, Filipino couple, that uh, set this up many years ago. And they are having a lot of fun in there. I can hear it from here. I can't wait to try it out. I would love to see what kind of beers they have, what kind of drinks, what the atmosphere is like. And I've heard wonders about their fish and chips. I was told like, no, this is cod. Everything's imported. It's gonna taste like you are in England. All right, let's go find out. All right, and here is the proud owner. His nickname is Gearbox. His name is Phil, but call him Gearbox, okay? This is Gearbox. How long ago did you arrive in the Philippines? 18 years. Wow, 18 years. You notice how long it took him to think? Because it has been that long. That's a lifetime for some people. You're not joking. Yeah, no kidding. Obviously, you love it here. Yes. Yeah. And what made you decide to open a British pub here in Pavia? Right. Um, the land was owned by the family uh, here, where we are, and I wanted to uh, create a bar that could, could help sustain the family. Yeah. So the people from the family, the nieces, daughters, children, whatever, can come in here and work. Um, a to meet people and learn how to interact with people and learn how to count money and yeah, trying to give them an. Um, an introduction to life and also help try and make a, a bit of a living for some of them yeah and also a place that you'd want to go to yourself and it's a place i'd like having to a to british myself. pub is bring a little bit of uh, back home it's here it's nice to get some decent beer and right uh, whilst san miguel makes some fairly good beers it's quite nice to have something different now and again and what nights do you uh like if there's expats watching that want to come and hang out what's the best night they can come and meet other expats any night but Monday, which is which we, which we close. And we should say that to get here, guys, you gotta just go to GT Mall, the road that's beside GT Mall, just keep walking. Just keep going down. Like I, I had that mis that problem and uh, I didn't know exactly where it was, but you keep going, you won't miss it. Don't worry, you'll, you will you won't pass it. So if you just keep walking, you will see it on the left-hand side. All right, well, let's try one of these beers. By the way, great singing. Thank you very much. Wow, well, you've been singing a while, I can tell. Or are you just a natural about, born? About, about two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> Somebody's a natural. Wow, that was impressive. Nah, cool. Thank you. Beer. Yeah, he likes a bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I dare say you're one some of secrets he wants to keep. You want some of this? Of course you do. I'll try one. I don't know. Well, we'll let that settle and. Uh... That looks good, mate. Oh, this is lovely beer. This is... It looks like an English beer. Look at this. Yeah. Are we going to be cheersing or? Absolutely. Um, Belgian beer glasses. Belgian beer glasses, German beer. Hold them up. Cheers! Cheers! 
Cheers. Oh, oh, you can taste the difference. Wow. Sorry, San Miguel, but. <laughs> exactly. Don't be sorry. <laughs> no, well, in case they want to sponsor me one day, eh? Right. San Miguel, hey? Okay. Yeah. Well, I know Ramen Ang very well. Keep some work for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Guys, that's how our love will speak. Don't ask why. So I just decided to go for a little walk. They have this little expansion area over here where if you have your own private group, uh, you can hang out and just use this spot here. And it's uh, right behind the kitchen. So you just walk down the, the hallway past the CRs and you can come back here. So they have actually a lot more room than I thought. All right, all right. I got my fish and chips here. It's kind of loud. Sorry, guys. But you get, of course, your ketchup and mayonnaise here. But I, I got to try it. You got vinegar. Of course, you have to have vinegar. Uh, but the chips, look at that. Look at the chips. They're amazing. Crispy, delicious. Oh. Oh, you don't need anything. They put all everything on it. And this, this is fresh cod. Not tilapia, cod, actual cod. Straight from the North Atlantic, this is cod right here. You want a little piece of Britain, this is where you come to. All right, let's give it a shot. It's a little loud. They're all singing Lady in the Red, a very popular song. I keep trying to make my own tardy. Oh yeah? Not working out. So it's... So it's very flaky, it is delicious. Oh, it's cooked absolutely perfect. Wow, and guess what? For a foreigner like me, fish without a bone is a big thing. I love the fish without the bone. Delicious. Seriously, best chips I've ever had. These are amazing. English pie, a meat pie, I believe. Beef pie. Beef pie, and you got baked beans here, and of course chips, and the, <laughs> we already know the chips are amazing. And crispy. Very crispy, flaky. Oh my goodness. Somebody just had a shoppy sale. Look at the steam running off of that. Absolutely beautiful, but, I know your bias. Is it delicious? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Have you had the beef pie? Oh yes. <laughs> Have you had it before? Oh, the beef yes. pie? No, I'm not. I had the pie. She's always eating fish pie. Oh yeah, that's fish, fish pie. Fish that's the fish and chips. Uh, right, it's like, great. Oh, you like the fish and chips yeah. the most. All right, guys. So if the owner likes fish and chips the most, no, no, I, 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 I that is a good thing. I like but I have a feeling the beef pie is delicious too. I'm German, but I like being the fish and chips. And this is the closest thing That's to a it. joke. <laughs> I was like, wow, your German accent, I gotta tell you. Well, we both like the fish and chips. <laughs> oh! Where they come from, we don't have the English fish and chips, but we don't like it. <laughs> Was that German or not? Wow, I, listen, no disrespect to the Germans out there, okay? <laughs> All right, this looks absolutely delicious. Wow, so much food. Phil has now offered me this too, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I just ate all that cod, the chips, and the so delicious. There, and there you go. There's the boss. You like it. The that is the boss there. right there. <laughs> the real boss. Exactly. Right, the real boss. The Filipino wife. You don't mess with a Filipino wife. Oh. We're just healthy. It was yesterday, it was 47 degrees. Oh, yesterday was 47 degrees, that's right. It was incredibly hot. It's been incredibly hot for, what, five days now? Six days? Woo! You know... Okay, I think it's cooled down enough now that I can try it. Here we go. Hopefully there's not too much wind from that fan because I need the fan. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I love the crunch, love the crust, absolutely delicious, beautifully baked. The beef has a great amount of taste to it. Are these imported? Yeah. Oh, they are imported. That makes a lot of sense because I'm like, you know, the beef difference in taste from uh, Filipino beef, Westerner beef, that kind of thing is I don't know the fatness content or something like that. There's something, because they're grain fed often in uh, Western countries, that they have a lot more fat on them and marbled type of. And so the taste actually has a different taste altogether. And right away it brings me back home, even though I'm not from England. But we do have meat pies and these are delicious. I like it. Now on to the beans. Let's try out these baked beans. Gotta love a good baked bean, that's for sure. <laughs> it's like a staple, you know? You have to have it. Do you get to eat, say you eat your vegetables if you eat baked beans? Because it's a lot more delicious than eating like a piece of lettuce. Look, I'm eating my, my lettuce right here. You know what, you don't have the same philosophy? That's my vegetables, right there. Now these are really good, really good baked beans. Nice baked beans. Cheers to all of you. Come and try it out. You guys will love it here. And I guarantee you, they're gonna love the beer. Well, that was so much fun. I uh, highly recommend this place. Make sure you come and check it out. It is right behind the GT Plaza, which is at the, well, Pavia and Iloilo border. Really cool. My goodness, you're gonna have to try it out for yourself and see how it is. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to coming back. I hope maybe you guys will join me when I come. All right, see you later. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. <laughs>